So the the first mock score was uh, the first I gave it towards the end of January was uh, it was it was seven hundred, uh, but my English was higher and my math was terrible. My math was I think forty six or forty seven, and uh, I knew at that time like math would be my weak spot and I could not like you know and which 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 is why I focused full mainly on math. I did I think about uh, I couldn't do a full mock test so I just focused on the quant sectional test, which is super helpful and I. Like for quant especially, like I don't think I saw a question that was not discussed before. It, it came verbatim, which is very surprising because I've never seen that happen before. Like it was just quest exact questions. Even the only thing that were different were the numbers, which is <laughs> so like I could answer within like a second. The basic, the the quant basics videos. I wish I had done that earlier. Like I did it the day before the exam, and that was a a lifesaver. Like it's. The, the basic videos I would highly recommend for anyone who's starting out, I would highly recommend they watch it because I, I know basic math, but it is so useful to just just go through that video once just to get a refresher. It's super helpful, especially the inequalities video. Like it was just, a, it was just beyond amazing. It's, it was explained very detailed. And once you do that, like I would say, if you do that before you actually start with the course, which is what's recommended in the study plan, fair, fair that, that's what I didn't do it, but I should have done it is what I'm saying is if, as long as you just watch the basic video and then go to the actual, um, you know, Sandeep's videos, like it didn't make a lot more sense. But I had the basics. It was just, it was very nice to get a refresher. And, you know, I, I have a feeling after I watched the, you know, Sandeep's video and the basics video, there was not much you can go in terms of like, you know, the, the base math skills that's required for the GMAT. Uh, the basic videos is just excellent. Like it's, it's top notch. Like, like <clears throat> I didn't watch it in the beginning because it was not Sandeep explaining. So I was like, you know what? I'll just, just focus on what Sandeep's explaining. But then I just, I think I was really bad at inequality, like I said. And I was like, you know what? Let me just see. Let me just try this basic video. And I was blown away. I was like, I have to watch every single basic. So I watched most of the basic videos. What about time per minute? I watched nearly all of the basic videos. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to put, I'm going to put this across to Aman. Uh, he's the faculty who was explaining. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Very, very useful. Very useful. Like it was, it was extremely useful. Um, but the mock test helped quite a bit because it helped me in the pacing aspect of it really well. Like it, um, the first test, like I said, was really bad. I, I, I think I had to guess the last nine questions. And then the more mock tests I did, it kept get, getting better, better, better. And then um, I think one advantage is because the mock tests are like slightly on the more difficult side, on the GMAT, you'll actually think you're doing bad because the questions seem a bit easier. So <laughs> okay. when I got a point 50 and I genuinely thought I would get only a 48 or 47 because the questions that were coming, it it might have looked easy to me because I'd done much harder questions than practice. So that 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 helps out quite a bit because all the questions you see, it, it becomes much easier when you look at it after. The actual exam, the, the math quant is a lot easier than what what's done. So it, it boosts your confidence quite a bit.